Good morning everyone. Welcome back to grade 3 mathematics class. How are you all doing today? We have been learning about different measurements of weight. Today, let's see a few word problems involving calculations with measurements of weight. In the previous class, we learned how to add or subtract different measurements of weight. So today, we'll see a few word problems that involves calculations with measurements of weight. So before moving on to the questions, let's do a fun activity now. So in page number 126 of your textbook, you can see the high order thinking skills question, HOTS. There are two questions given there. Those are two fun questions. You please go through these questions. You can pause the video, finish writing the answers and come back. Hope you are done with the questions. Now let's discuss the questions one by one. Which is heavier? one kilogram of cotton or one kilogram of iron so what do you think cotton is light and fluffy whereas iron is hard and solid so which one do you think which will weigh more is it one kilogram of cotton or one kilogram of iron what have you written see both have the same weight both weigh one kilogram right so both will weigh the same now what about the next question which is taller, 3 meter tall lamp post or 320 centimeter tall coconut tree? So we are given two measurements of length there. One is 3 meter, whereas the other is in centimeters, 320 centimeters. Which one is the longer measurement? And one is in 3 meter, sorry, one is in meters and the other one is in centimeters. See, we can compare only measurements with same units. So let's make these measurements in terms of the same units. 3 meter means it is equal to 300 centimeter. Then the other one is 320 centimeter. Now we can easily compare them. So from among this, which is longer, 320 centimeter is the longer measurement here. So we can say the taller one is the 320 centimeter tall coconut tree. I hope you got the answers correct. Now let's move on to the word problems. The first question, Gautam's mother bought 35 kilogram, 450 gram of rice and 200 kilogram, 350 gram of flour. How much grocery did she buy? So what is given in the question, Gautam's mother bought this much amount of rice and this much amount of flour. You are asked to find out the uh, total quantity or the total weight of grocery that she bought. How do we do that? You have to just add the given measurements of weights. So to add weights, what do we do? First write the given measurements in proper columns of units. Then you have to add them separately. So first let's write the steps from the data given in the question. So the quantity of rice she bought is equal to 35 kilogram, 450 gram. So as given in the question, the quantity of flour bought is equal to 200 kilogram, 350 grams. Now the total weight of the grocery would be equal to the quantity of rice bought plus the quantity of flour bought. Now let's substitute the measurements here, which will give us 35 kilogram, 450 gram. Plus 200 kilogram, 350 gram. So in the working column, let's do the addition. So in the grams column, we have 450 plus 350. So 0 plus 0, 0. 5 plus 5, it is 10. A carry of 1 here. The 4 plus 3 is 7. Plus 1, 8 here. So here we have 800 grams. Now moving to the kilograms column. Here we have 5 plus 0, 5. 3 plus 0, 3, then this 2. So it is 235 kilogram. So what is the total weight? The total weight equals 235 kilogram, 800 gram. So that is the total weight of the grocery that Gurdon's mother bought. Hope this question is clear to you. Now let's move on to the next question. Neha's suitcase weighs 23 kilogram, 240 grams. But the airport authority allows only 15 kilogram, 200 gram. So how much extra weight is Neha carrying? So she has this suitcase which is weighing 
23 kilogram 240 gram but she is allowed to carry only a weight of 15 kilogram 200 gram so it seems that she has got a little extra weight with her in her suitcase so what do we do we are asked to find out how much extra weight she is carrying in her suitcase so how can we find out that extra weight if we subtract these two weights we'll get their difference and that will be the extra amount of weight she is carrying so let's write the steps from the data given in the question so weight of neha's suitcase that we wrote from the question itself see that is equal to 23 kilogram 240 gram now the weight she is allowed to carry is only 15 kilogram 200 gram now the extra weight will be equal to the weight of Neha's suitcase, the actual weight she is carrying, minus the weight she is allowed to carry, which is equal to this 23 kilogram, 240 gram, minus 15 kilogram, 200 gram. Now let's do the subtraction in the working column. So first we have arranged the measurements in proper columns of units. So we have kilogram and gram. So starting from the smaller units column, we have 240 minus 200. Now what is it? 0 here, 4 here, and 0 here. So it is 40 grams in the grams column. Moving to the higher units column, we have 23 minus 15 kilograms. So 3 minus 5, we cannot do. So we borrow from 1 from here. And here it becomes 13. 13 minus 5 equals 8. Here it is 0. So here it is 8 kilograms. So the extra amount of weight she is carrying is equal to 8 kilogram 40 gram. Hope this question is clear to you. Now children, you have to go through the topic word problems in page number 125. These questions are given there. Go through these questions uh, once again. Now you have to move on to exercise 9.5. A few word problems are given in the exercise. Question number 3, 4 and 5. You have to go through these questions, write down these questions in your notebook and work them out. Now, once you are done with them, take a picture and send us to Teams. So, I hope this topic was clear to you. That's all for today. We'll meet in the next class with a new topic. Till then, bye.